الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد Good boy, Saleh. What about the rest of you? What do you say? What do you say when you What do you say when you hear the Prophet's name? Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Right. Now, yesterday we looked at two names. One name, Allah, Allah and another Rab. name, Rabb. And we looked at both of those videos to revise and to maybe even learn something new about these two wonderful names ah. of your Lord ah. of Tawheed. Of ikhlas, can you go to Jannah without these two names? No. Can you be a believer without these two names? No. Can you do good deeds without these two names? No. So are these two names important or not important? Yes. Muhammad, yeah. are these two names important or not important? Yeah. Why is it important, Muhammad? We're going to talk about it, don't we? Right. Look at Allah. Allah. I'm going to play a little game with you guys today. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want you, if you can remember. And I think about Rob, you might make some mistakes mm. because I remember at the Rob one, you were losing a little bit of concentration. So I'm going to test you now. Allah has one, two, three. Can you see these three stickers? Yeah. Has three important parts of the name. I can see. Allah, be quiet, please. You're in the class. Hey. Right. And a Rob has four important parts to it. Now. Starting from the right, we're going to ask you important parts of the name Allah. How many kids are there? There's one, two, three, four, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, little bit of a problem. Everyone's gonna get two, except me. Okay, how many? Somebody can help you. Okay. Ow. Yusuf. Ow. Starting from the right, there's three things that are connected to the name Allah. Yes, there is. What? Love. Love. Let's see if it's there. What do you think, guys? Is love there? Yeah. Let's see. Ding! Right. Part of the name Allah is that we must love who our Lord is. Right. Now, do you love your mum? Yeah. Do you love your dad? Yeah. Do you love your mum? Yeah. Do you love chicken burgers? <laughs> no. It's a funny question, but I want to ask. This is do you love chicken burgers? Have you seen my Okay, listen. Now listen, now listen, 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 listen. Listen, just one minute. One minute, look. This is his mom. She don't wear a hijab. In her house. And this is a chicken burger. <laughs> now, Yusuf, it's not a very good chicken burger, obviously. You probably don't want to eat that one. But listen, that's a chicken burger and he loves that. No, I don't. Listen, listen. Let's pretend that Yusuf loves that, but he loves his mum. Do you love Allah? Yes. Is it easy for you to say you love Allah? Yes. Anybody can say that. He's smiling. What is the difference? Listen. What is the difference between loving your mum and loving chicken burgers? Isa bomb. Allah is way more important than those. Good. Two. Obviously, Allah is more important than both of them. But what is the difference between loving your mum and loving chicken burgers? Special guest. Yusuf. Um, Special guest is of mom. Chicken burgers are tasty. All right, all right, all right, okay, okay. I think we're going into a bit of a silly mode now. Stop. Say Allah Billah. Allah Billah. Right. Your mum. If you love your mum, but your mum says to you, listen, your mum says to you, can you come here? I need your help. Can you come here? I need your help. Will you listen to her? Or will you not listen to her? Yes. You will listen to her. And you will come straight away. Good, Salih. Now, if you don't listen to your mum and you come one hour later, what do you think your mum's going to feel? Angry. 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 Sad. <laughs> betrayed. Sad. She might think... I said sad twice. He might not love me that much. Or right now, he doesn't love me that much. Chicken burgers. Now, you love chicken burgers, but do you need to listen to what chicken burgers tell you to do? <laughs> no. Can because chicken burgers talk? Them. No, exactly. The difference between loving your mum and loving chicken burgers is, and to Allah is the higher example... Hey, hey, concentrate. Say properly. Concentrate. The difference between loving something and not following it and loving something and doing what they tell you to do is the difference between proper love and not proper love. So now, when we say Allah's name, listen, one second, Saleh. When you say Allah's name, we say we love him and we listen to what he tells us to do. 
Otherwise, the love is just like a love of a chicken burger. Yes, father. I forgot. Okay. What's the? Wait, it's your turn now. What's the second part of the name Allah? To worship in only. Let's see if that's there. Ding. That, that is a sajjada, that's what you're supposed to be praying in Salah. You worship Allah alone. So now, part of worship, part of believing in Allah is that we worship Him alone. You have to worship Him alone. Do you understand? Yeah. What is worship? What is worship? Is that, is that your hand up? Yeah, go on, Isa, you got your hand up. What's, what, what's Worship, example, that's an example of what is worship though. Yes, yes. So you praise and glorify our Lord. Okay, so if I just say sit here, say subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, subhanAllah, that's worship and that's it. No. What, what is it then? To read Quran. And okay, so I read Quran, say subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, and that's it. I don't need to do anything. You have to pray your namaz. I pray namaz, I say subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, I read Quran, that's it. I've done worship, I'll go I jannah. Do and I do dua, so I'll do five things and I'll go jannah. No. What is but it? Five pillars of Islam. Huh? Yeah, five pillars of Islam. Bro, he was in the khutbah today. Yeah, five pillars is an example of it, but what do you need? Isa is good at this. Worship? You, you need worship! Yeah, what is worship, Muhammad? Quickly, go on. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Muhammad, come here. Quickly, come here. What are you doing? Well done, Muhammad. He got the right answer. Oh, Worship. Right now, listen, listen. Concent Muhammad. Concentrate. You, Muhammad. Good. Right. Listen. Worship. Here, there's an example of salat, but it's not just salat. It's not just Quran. It's not just any good deed is connected. Then why would you love that thing? Because right now, if your mom tells you to do something bad, would you listen to her? No. Why? Because it's not a good deed. And because you love your mommy, you'll say, Mom, I don't think that's the right thing to do. Loving Allah means worshipping Him, meaning doing good deeds with what He's told you to do. And you do it to make Him happy. Right. The next one, Muhammad. Ola. What's, the, what's here? What do you think is here? Isa Bum? Huh? What do you think is here? There's three parts of the name Allah that we must believe and have. The name of Allah. Right. Isa, what does your name mean? Huh? What does your name mean? It's the name of a prophet. of a prophet. Muhammad, what does your name mean? Muhammad. It means somebody is the name of a prophet. But it's also somebody who is praised for his good behavior. Sorry, what does your name mean? Hey, all of you guys got names of prophets. I just realized. What's your name? Sale. What does Sale mean? Somebody who is pious and does good deeds. Yusuf, what does your name mean? It's a prophet's name. Now listen, all of us have names and all of us when Shush, shush, shush. When you meet someone, they will say, Oh, what's your name? Oh, what does that name mean? It's a nice name. It sounds nice. What does the name of Allah mean? It has three parts. Number one, something that we worship alone. What is worship? What is worship? What is worship, Isa? Good deeds. Good deeds. What is worship? Good deeds. Can you give me an example of worship? Good deeds. Another example? Okay, now you guys will keep saying, you guys keep, you guys keep saying things that you will find that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi used to do out of worship to remember Allah. Is there an example that you can give me which has not got something that I'm doing just me and Allah? Is there something that I can, yeah, go on. Okay, so now that is example of me and Allah, maybe, maybe not. But that's very, that's a good answer, but it's very general because following Sunnah has different parts. Smiling is following the sunnah, but that's got nothing to do with you and Allah. It's got between you and the creation. You're doing something with the creation. Yeah, what do you think, Saleh? Uh, Worship between you and the creation. I was going to say something different. Because when you look, when you do Quran, you're reading the Quran and you're trying to learn what Allah is telling you. That's between you and Allah. When you say Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, you're thinking about Allah. You, I'm not talking to Yusuf, I'm not talking to anybody else. When I'm praying Salah, I'm looking down and I'm talking to Allah. But I'm asking for an act of worship that you can do, that you are thinking about Allah and Allah is going to reward you for it. But you're not talking to Allah, you're, do, you're talking to the creation. Maybe you're talking to Allah, you're doing something with a plant. Maybe you're doing something with an animal. Maybe you're doing something with another human being. You're, you're, saying, you're saying nice recipes. Or you're Good. Doing being kind is act of worship. But only if you think Allah wants me to do this. Isa.
Taking care of someone. Taking dead. care of something. Worship. Salah. Uh, today. Yeah. He, yeah, yeah, come on. He's a small man. Yeah. He has only an injured leg. Okay, come on. An injured leg. Carry on. And said, put the leg in your hand. And said, okay. Is that act of worship? And then he got yes. it. If he did that to make Allah happy, that is an act of worship. So now, worshiping Allah makes us good people. But you can only become a good person if you know who Allah is. Right. The last one, Yusuf, yeah, Isa. I know you know what it is. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Why do you think wow is on the board? Wow. How is that connected to the name of Allah, Isa Bawam? Because um, Allah is very strong and strong. Strong and powerful. So why is wow there? Go on. Because do you think that the earth is so big to us humans? Good. And think of how small the earth is compared to Excellent. the whole universe. Excellent. So imagine how big and tall Allah and strong is. Strong and great. Not tall. How great Allah is. Really yeah. good. Well done. So Ali did that the other day. We were looking at the sky and he thought, wow, look how big the sky is. He said, subhanAllah. He did that all by himself. That I is connected. Yeah, well done, Muhammad. You did that as well. Yeah, you're right. That is all connected to the name of Allah. So now, what are the three things that you need to no. have the name of Allah? No. To love Allah. To to to, to, to do good deeds for wow. Allah. And to think about how amazing Allah is and how powerful and amazing Allah is. Yes, last thing, Sal Ariel. Uh, the Prophet used to do this before he ate something like Okay, so where does that come? Here, here or here? Where does that come? Here? Sorry, answer the question. Here, here or here? At the top in wow? No. What? Love. So when you start and you say Bismillah and you start eating, that's because you love Allah. Maybe. Maybe. But it's more to do with good deeds. Right. Can you believe in Allah and not do good deeds? No. You have to do good deeds. If a person does good deeds sometimes and does not good deeds sometimes, does he still believe in Allah? Uh, no, it's not. Yes, he does. Okay. But his belief in Allah has become a little bit bad. Correct. And he needs to do more good deeds to become Pious. to become stronger in believing in Allah. Can you believe, can you love something but not listen to them? No. You have to listen to them. Can you listen to them but listen to them afterwards? Or listen to them little half half. So if if some if your mom says to you, go and do wudu, and you go and do wudu, uh, but you won't do wudu properly, is that part of loving your mom? No. no. Can you love Allah without thinking about how great Allah is? No. These are the three things that you need to believe in Allah. And the stronger you make these good deeds, love. And think about how great Allah is, the stronger your Iman and your good deeds will become. This is the better you will become as a human being. Uh, okay, so tomorrow we're going to do, well, not tomorrow, in the next session we're going to do Rabb. Hada, Allahu A'lam, sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.